Tangents, Sequence and Angle Measures by Justin de Souza. The learning objective of this lesson is to use relationships between tangents and secants to solve problems. And the keyword is secant. Let's look into what exactly a secant is. A secant is a line which is similar to a chord but it extends outwards from the circle. So you can see this is going infinitely. So this is a secant and even this over here, the line J and K both are secants. What you need to remember is whenever secants are cutting a circle, arcs are formed. And based on the, you know, how the secants are placed, there are different theorems because we can find the angles formed at various sections. Let's look into the theorems now. The first one is about two secants or chords intersecting inside of a circle. Let's look at the figure. Here you can observe that this particular x angle, we can find this by summing the two opposite arcs and dividing them by two. But before that, let's look at this particular section. Here, this x and the opposite angle over here are vertical, uh, vertically opposite angles, so they both are equal. So this x degrees means this or this, both. Now, whenever you want to find the angle of this particular, this particular angle, and if you know the arcs, the opposite arcs, or even the other side arcs, if you know, we can easily solve them because they are just equal to half of the sum of the two arcs. That's the theorem. So if I want to find x, I would just, I would just solve for half 140 plus half times 140 plus 60. So that will be your answer. Now the next theorem over here is about secant and a tangent line intersecting at point of tangency. This is important because this is exactly at the point of tangency. Wherever this point of tangency is there for this tangent, there a secant line is intersecting. In such cases, it's very simple. Whatever this arc is there, the outer arc of the circle, the angle will be half of it. That's it. Now over here it will be half of 124 because the outer arc is 124. It's a very simple one, this one. And then we have the last one. If two secants, a secant and tangent line or two tangents intersect outside the circle. Now here we can see the intersecting points of the two tangents or secants or a tangent and a secant is all outside the circle. In such cases, we need to remember we need to take half of the outer arc, the bigger arc, minus the inner arc. So this BC, which will be bigger, minus the inside arc, that will give you the answer. So this is how we basically solve the problems here. Now let's look into the problems. Let's remember the theorems, the knowledge of the theorems, and apply them in problems now. Here we need to find the value of x. But look, we do not know the opposite arcs. See over here, it's not the arcs which we know. We don't know M, N, and P, Q. How can we find this? See, here, if you know any two, you can find this both, right? So because I know 55 and 75, I can find this angle and this angle. They are same. So let me solve for that. Let me call this as A. A will be equal to half of 55 degrees plus 75. Now this would be equal to 75 plus 55 would be 130. And half of 130, that's divided by 2, is 65. So 65 degrees is this A. These both are A. Now since I want to find X, now look carefully, if you're considering this line, this is a linear line and this total is 180 degrees and you know a part of it is A that is 65, so what's the remaining? Or the same thing can be done at this line over here. The total angle is 180 minus A, that will be 65. So X degrees will be equal to 180 minus 65, that will be 120 minus 5, that's 115 degrees. So that will be the final answer. The value of x is 115 degrees. So this is how we solve it. Find the opposite side, you know, the A, angle A, 
and then substitute back and solve it it's 115. Please do pause the video now and try it by yourselves and then I'll continue. Over here, they have again asked you to find x but it's very straightforward because the opposite arcs, both the arcs are known over here. So x will be equal to half of 116 plus 47 degrees. So that will be equal to 116 plus 47 would be 163 half of that that will be 81.5 because 80 is 160 and 3 is 1.5 so it's 81.5 degrees that's it now in this case please don't do anything extra don't do 180 minus or plus because we already got the opposite arcs only in the previous case because we didn't have the opposite uh, arcs of the angle x we found the other side and then we did 180 minus 65 and got the answer but here it's very straightforward it's 81.5 this should be in degrees now the second type of problem remember the second theorem which is the easy one all you need to know is it's this angle will be the half of the arc so we have been told here find mlj this arc over here and looking at it, you know this is a secant line and this is a tangent line. So, and it's intersecting at the point of tangency. How would you apply the theorem? We know that this angle, so I'll write measure of angle J, will be equal to half of the uh, arc J L K. Okay, this is the arc. Now we know this formula, but we know J already, that is 116 degrees, and this is half into what is JLK? That is what we need to find. The arc JLK, they have mentioned it over here. So take the two to the other side, it'll be 116 times 2, that is equal to JLK, and you can just times this, it'll be 200, and 16 times 2 is 32, 232 degrees. So this would be the answer for the arc JLK. So this is how we solve it directly and there's another check problem please do try to do it by yourselves here they have told find the measure of the arc def so okay this is interesting because the outside arc is told but they have given you fdc is 64 degrees now if this is 64 what is def now we can't directly find DEF, we will find this in some time, but first let's find FD, arc FD, because this is 64, that had to be equal to half FD, right? So now just take the two to the other side, it will be 128 will be equal to, degrees will be equal to FD. So it's 128. Now we have found fd but we need def how would you find that so we can do one thing see it's 360 degrees minus 128 degrees that will give you the answer so it will be 232 so that's the answer now there is one more method to do it this is the answer this is fine but if you're thinking about this we know this tangent would be a straight line so if this is 64 then what would be the remaining over here? It will be 180 minus 64, that will be 116 degrees, 116 degrees. Then, here you can use 116 to solve directly, because if this is 116, DEF must be twice 116, so it should be at least 232 degrees. Now we have a real world problem. A photographer is taking a photo of Thomas Jefferson Memorial in Washington, D.C. From a boat in Tidal Basin, the photographer's line of sight are tangents to the memorial at the points Q and S. So let's understand this. The photographer over here is taking the photo of this particular monument. From here, he is going to take the photo, but the line of sight to this point and this point are tangents. So then we can apply the tangent theorems isn't it now these are two tangents which are intersecting uh, outside the circle so now if the camera viewing angle is already given this is given as 36 what portion of the memorial will be visible in the photo what portion see now this portion will be visible right 
but we will do it as percentage and tell. But first, we need to find this. How do we find this part which was visible? I will take this part as x over here. This over here will be 360 minus x. Why? Because if this is x, the total is 360. So this must be 360 minus x. And this is 36. So let's write it as formula. We know 36 degrees will be equal to half of the outer, the bigger one, x minus of what? 360 minus x. So this is the thing. We can put this in calculator, but let's solve it over here. 2 to the other side would make it as 72. 36 times 2 is 72. And over here, x minus 360 minus and minus becomes plus x. So we can take 360 to the other side. It will be 360 plus 72 equals 2x. And now over here, if you add them up, it will be 330. Sorry, it will be 400 and 432 degrees is equal to 2x. So divide both the sides by 2, you will get 216 degrees. So this part whatever is uh, sorry the x this part whatever is not visible is 216 so what is basically the visible part that is 360 degrees minus x that is 216 so what will happen is this x we found out to be 216 so 360 minus 216 is the answer so it will be basically 140 four degrees so this is the part that is visible 144 degrees but now let's write as a percentage we know the total is basically 360 so if you do 144 degrees divided by the total arc of the circle that's the total angle of the circle 360 that would be the answer in terms of percent so we can use calculator for that now let's just look at the answers over here, first we need to find x, which we found out, the visible part. See, the visible part we found out to be 144 degrees. And then just find the percentage, that's 144 divided by 360, that's 40%. That is how we solve it. So, basically, 144 degrees arc is what is visible to the photographer. In terms of percentage, it will be 144 by total, that is 360, 40%. And that's the end of this lesson. It's a very short lesson, just three theorems. I hope it is clear. I hope these videos are beneficial for you. Please do subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot. And please do share my videos with your friends who might benefit from it. I would highly appreciate it. Until the next video, happy learning and take care.